Greetings, welcome back to Fable Anniversary and let's get rid of some of those bandits or not because they give me awful little experience yeah. Seriously Point maybe in the picnic area. <laughs> I know I'm pretty much focused on the picnic area. Mm, doesn't point anywhere or in, in particular. I could worship a man like that. Oh, don't please don't. I have a chicken head. You do not worship someone with a chicken head, okay? Respect okay. the Pilgrim. Oh, Mrs. Pilgrim, how does that sound? Yeah! Pilgrim was built to commemorate Jack's most famous of victories in the Battle of the Bloody Harvest. Hooray! That sounds awfully like the raid on Ogvale. Up here, I don't know why, but I'm still getting lost around this place. Whoa, the statue is pointing to Bowerstone. Okay, that pretty much means something happened in the Bowerstone. Run, please, make maybe the cellar door opened. That means it's time. Run, run for it, hero. Have a nice visit. Okay. Wonderful. And I might actually look up. How can I get more clues? It's open. Definitely not on the race, really. Nothing. Dusty. Leather chest piece. That's all. Really. What a shame. At least I know it's <laughs> how it opens. I hope I don't need to use that knowledge. I really do. Yes, I'm twisted. And I think I'll try again to give away some of the books. And I think I see me green dot. People call you pilgrim. I heard them. Who is that? Is it the teacher? Sorry. Hello. Hello. Bart. Wonderful. Wow. Okay, show me what you got. To serve you. Hmm. I might buy all of this. Yeah. Okay. Has to have them. All plate controls. Whoa, they cost the. Okay. That's it. And you allow the powerful whisper to live. If yep. It's not powerful. That's why I let it. But he'll live. So it yes 
some of this little key. The Repentant Alchemist. This is a play by Philip Morley, Albion's most celebrated dramatist. It is the story of a Boston innkeeper who discovers his wife is cheating on him with every man in town. As revenge, he concocts a new ale with the peculiar properties of making anyone who drinks it die horribly if they should have indulged relations with the innkeeper's unfaithful wife. He soon finds himself without living customers and decides to partake of his malevolent beverage himself. Damn. Hey. Hey. So I have to check out every house's balcony from now on and search for. Hello. Insert I could First of all, give me that sweet, sweet gold. So, hello. Uh, hello yeah, again. I think so. The repentant alchemist, but uh, I'm not sure it's really suitable reading for children. Of course it is. Uh, I suppose. Five and twenty years have I tended this inn, not knowing my wife was living in sin. For while I served the townsfolk ale by day, at night my wife served them in another way. <laughs> but soon they'll regret leading her astray. When next they sip my ale, it will be their lives that pay. He who hath slept with my love will die at its taste. Then I shall see if any among them can call themselves chaste. Uh, thank you, Billy. I think that's enough for today. Have a donation there, hero. Sorry, I think my control. Uh, I suppose it can't. Yeah. Well, it the Journal of wouldn't Bloody react. Games. Zero in training. Day fourteen. This week we've been developing our stealth skills by playing hide and seek. Knowing how to run and hide from your enemies is an important skill for any zero says Days. He seems to be a master of the art. It took us all day to find him after he teleported away. Eventually, we heard his cries and found him wedged inside a hollow tree in the Academy Woods. He wasn't at all happy that it took us so long to find him, but he decided to test our hiding skills next. We must be really good at it because we've been out here in the woods for two days now and he still hasn't found us. Great stuff! Woohoo! Yeah! Ah, yeah! Yeah! Rotten apple, yeah! Eh? Yeah! 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 This isn't some potty school for wizards, you know. What? Okay. Any book, the book of sp okay, he doesn't want any of my books. So I think I need five more. Hmm. Where the heck am I gonna find five books? Hmm, the sort of rescue the ghost finish complete. I think this is the Right. First of all. Let's spend the experience. <laughs> enough for health then I might uh, oh the stuffness it's still not maxed okay the flame I need 58,000 oh my that I need 25 
Oh no 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 I'm a good guy. Okay, let's go back to the power stone. And let's meet this crazy archaeologist. Hello there. Oh, yes. You're well known enough to come in. Thank you. <laughs> really? I have to close it on my face. The Barstone North, hero. This is a quiet district, and we like to keep it that way. Okay. We don't tolerate uncivil behavior here, so mind you don't end up in our holding cell. Understandable. We have a raving lunatic locked up right now, but he won't be seeing many more sunrises, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Now, Lady Grey desires to speak with you. You'll find her grace in the gardens outside of Mention. This is a great honor, even for a hero, so mind your manners. Mm -hmm. And of course, first of all, let me scout that place. Because I can go around it and... Really? I don't believe... Will... Nice to see you. Hi. Do you mind if I look upstairs? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Hmm. Looks all right. No need to watch over me. It's not like I'm gonna steal from anyone. I'm just looking around for some keys. Ha. Hello. Hello there. Can I buy this house? It has a HSD inside. Great to see you. Hello. I know. Yeah. Greetings. Yeah, yeah. All right, there, pet. Ah, stop following me. What? Okay. Like the look Where are you? Hello. Hmm. You know, a man of your status ought to pay a visit to the mayor. Hello. She lives in Bowerstone Manor, the big building over by the shop. Okay. First of all, let's just meet him. Finally, someone to talk to. You've got to help me out. Why? The mayor's having me executed. That's oh, why I'm too. Start asking too many questions round here. That woman is a demon, but no one will believe me. Just because I was wrong about the guards controlling our dreams by spiking our water supplies. Mm. Her sister was an angel. Would have made a wonderful mayor. And I know Lady Grey killed her. I just know it. You have to help me prove it. Otherwise, Bowerstone will remain in her clutches and I'll be executed. Okay. Yes, finally. We're going to bring that crazy witch down. All you need to do is get her dead sister to tell you what really happened. Don't that sounds easy. Out. We all know ghosts exist. You've seen them. I've seen them. We've all seen them. Lady Grey's sister, Amanda, had a sweetheart called Rodri. Nice guy. He usually hangs out. <gasps> oh, with that guy. Anyone knows how to entice her out of oblivion? It's him. Thank you. I'm not crazy. The truth wants to be free. Hello there. Hello. Oh, it reminds me. Going inside the houses. Your lordship, worshipped by all. Okay, that sounds sounds disturbing. This is a shop, right? Oh, and it's closed. Like the look of this chap. You are. What was that? Aren't you going to talk to me? Yeah. So, you're the one everyone is talking about. I must say, you have me intrigued. 
Will you walk with me to the courtyard? I would so love to speak with you. Okay. Here, don't you think? But sometimes it feels like the loneliest place in the world. You see, I haven't married yet. Somehow I've never met a man worthy enough. I've always known that only someone who could conquer the arena could conquer me. Perhaps you could bring me a gift from town. I'm sure you can find something fitting for a lady. Okay. There you go. And a sapphire. No. Oh. You can't give me something you haven't got. It makes me wonder what else you're lying about. What? Okay, I'm not giving you anything. Yes. We could be friends if you like. Yeah. Supposed to be like that. You're not getting anything from me. Hey, that what you what you're supposed to give to me, 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 me. No. Hello. Maybe I should throw Amanda. Yes. Of course, I knew her. I think about her all the time. She was so beautiful, so pure. She was afraid her sister would find out about us and use it against her, stop her from becoming mayor. I'm no noble after all. So we'd meet in secret in the grey house cellar. I would sneak out to the stables and flash my lamp three times to let her know I was there. One night, she didn't come out, and I found the cellar door locked. Her sister, Elvira, Lady Grey as she's now known, told me she had died of some terrible illness. Then the house was abandoned, and I never even got to... I'm sorry. It's too painful to talk about. I know what to do now. Flash my lantern in the stable three times. Get it. Maybe her ghost will open up. Or maybe she's fucked up in the cellar. Hello. Oh. oh. Oh, that. Oh, throw it somewhere here. Oh. It is goes after all. you I've waited for you so long and I wait you're not Rodri I prayed that he would rescue me but he never came when the air ran out I closed my eyes and imagined I was dying in his arms now I'll never see him again and my sister has taken everything people must know the truth about her take this letter Show the world what really happened. Hmm. It's cold parchment. The fragment reads, the R is running out and I have hardly the strength to scratch the words in on this letter. The lamp was extinguished hours ago and my life can be long in following it. Now that I've resigned to my fate, however, 
I am concerned solely with my duty as the oldest of the grey children. Write for her to the office of the Boston Mayoralty. I can only hope that these words are one they found, and the truth they speak become known to all. I die at the hand of my sister Elvira. The new Lady Grey is a murderess. I grow weary now, sleep is upon me, and the final scroll is illegible. So, now you know the truth. Amanda was a weak, romantic fool. She didn't have what it takes to run Bowerstone. She would have turned the whole place into an egalitarian slum. But don't worry your pretty head with such big words. We can still be together. You can still have me. Wouldn't I don't you like, like to you. be mayor? Think of the power. It can all be yours. Just hand over the letter. Do you want to offer up the murder and marry Lady Grey? No! No one refuses Lady Grey. No one. I do. You're just like the rest of those imbeciles. Infecting my city with their petty little lives. Fine then. I'm a chicken head. Tell everyone. Have your moment of glory. But I will return one day. And I will wash away all the filth with your blood. Remember that, hero. Okay. Let's see what can we get from here. Okay. And the desiccated corpse of a young girl with an awfully big boot. Will master elixir. Hmm, potions. And I dash in here. And others. Mm. Oh really? Where is it? Fishing rod. Yes. Okay, I cannot fish it. Oh well. So now let's go back. Don't. No. No. I'm still trying to. Really? Ah, please. First of all, let's go to the guy that wanted to marry Amanda. Maybe we can talk with him about that. Oh, he's still there. Maybe I should now Amanda has spoken to you. The mayor's days are numbered. True. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. Also no recall. Yep. Where am I? What? Okay. Oh my. It's a lot better at night. And there's not so many people around. Don't have anything else to talk about them? No. Good. Was right, so she did kill her sister. Wow, I've never been right before. Okay, no one will call me crazy Gethin after this. 
Lady Grey passed through here earlier, and it looked like she was leaving for good. Now, if you would just tell the sheriff to let me out, he might even have a reward for you. I think so. He's secretly Jack of Blades in a cunning disguise. Maybe we should stay here. Sense. I'll have to tell everyone as soon as I'm free. The mayor is a witch! A witch! Hey, you don't learn, do you? Unbelievable! So Gethin was right all along! Oh, I suppose we'd better release him. No, I wouldn't be so not sure. Start that nonsense about me spiking the water supply again, no? We'll have to find a new mayor, too. Huh. I don't suppose you'll be interested in the job. You have proved your worth after all. Sure. Why not? So that's mine now. <laughs> so. That's mean. <laughs> oh. Oh, this one's pretty. Is there something down there? Mm. It is great bedroom. No, I need fifteen. Mm. Oh well, I guess that's it then. Oh, so lucky. Oh, okay. I cannot even sleep here. Okay, that will be it for now. No, thank you very much. Bye-bye.